Hello to all my friends out there. So, okay, it's the day before Thanksgiving and I have to eat. I want to be cheap. So what I made was I made some bagels with um, a chicken patty and some cheese that I had. And I'll have a tomato. Uh, somebody on the comments asked me, how do I uh, survive in uh, San Diego? Well, I, I, I don't spend much money. I really don't. So just to mention, I have a couple cookies that were rolling around in my freezer. Remember the ginger cookies I made? I save everything. I had a couple of coconut cookies. And here's my sandwiches. I have some, um, these were in the stockpile, half used, roasted um, peanuts. I have some Cheetos. Might as well have a couple Cheetos. And uh, I have some crackers, some various crackers. And what I do with the hummus? Oh, here, I have black bean hummus. So what I do is I basically eat everything. Okay, I made some uh, green tea ginger. And so what I'll do is I'll just drink tea early in the day. I have some leftover crackers. Okay, down here, let's see, I have some, some, um, I bought some salami at Grocery Outlet. I have a little, um, a little turkey, a little cheese, and let's see. Okay, so now here is that Alfredo noodle mix I made. So, um, you know, I would be working with people and, you know, they would be getting an attitude of you're living better than we are. Well, I was doing this. I wasn't living better than anyone, but I was being, uh, you know, careful not to spend much money. In a day, I might buy a hamburger at McDonald's and a few sodas. That's about it. Okay, so with, with any tea that I mix up, I don't like to add the, here's the green tea ginger with, uh, I put one quarter. This is good. you got to try this. I just had, most people have ginger around. Uh, here's my one quarter teaspoon measuring thing. And so, okay, I'll put a little sugar. And this, I have mixed up half evaporated, half water milk. And so, okay, so back to uh, how do I survive? Well, when you do this habitually, you know, am I suffering, you know, being cheap? No, I'm not suffering. I'm not suffering at all. And um, I've been doing this for years. And so, you know, I tried to do videos years ago and tell people how I did this, and I was pretty sure they weren't picking up on it. Okay, now this is good. First of all, these were pretty good bagels. This is the same way I make any of these packets. I add extra milk and extra cheese. And I bought um, hummus for, for a dollar. Here in California, we love hummus. This is good. I bought this at... at um, Dollar Tree. So, okay, I want to mention something. So I stockpile a box. I've posted it of all half-eaten food. And then I try to eat the food that's in my half-eaten box, like these, black bean. I eat everything in the refrigerator and the freezer. And I make a point not to spend much money, you know, all the time. I mean, it's just a way of life. Um, stockpile big packages of lunch meat in the freezer. I, I usually buy two at a time. This um, 
cheese at Dollar Tree. I have a lot of cheese in my freezer because you don't want to be running out of milk and you don't want to be running out of cheese. And at one point, uh, as this is good, okay, these were good bagels, they're blueberry, but they're still good in a sandwich. I made a point to buy 10 packages, if you guys may remember, of this dollar food, and I've eaten most of them. And so these chicken patties were a quarter. Um, the, the bagels weren't the cheapest bagels I ever bought, but you know, I, I feel I got my money's worth out of my bagels. So, okay, just start stockpiling crackers. What I do is I put these, like these uh, chicken patties, I put these in one side of the freezer. I usually buy 10 at a time, you know, and then, you know, I eat them, I save money. I bought these, uh, this um, noodle mix marked down at Grocery Outlet. And then I made cookies because I needed molasses anyway, and I kept them in the freezer. So, okay, if you're new to stockpiling, if you're broke and running out of food, stay with me. And so say, okay, I don't have much money. We'll have bread and chicken patties. If you don't have uh, a tomato, have barbecue sauce. If, if you don't have milk, uh, you can use coffee creamer or you can use, you know, uh, yogurt, you know, anything like that. Okay, and uh, another thing I started, don't forget this, is stockpile nuts and stockpile this uh, dry meat, all kinds. It doesn't need refrigeration. Okay, you guys, I'll be back. And what I do is I just keep eating this until it's gone. This is probably going to take me through the rest of the day. So, okay, God bless you all.